Hi everyone, I am Praveen Chetty and I welcome you all to this video class. In my previous uh, video lecture, I talked about the main events of the play Refund in the first part of my summary. In this video, I'll talk about the main events in the second part of the play Refund. Before we go to the second part, let me recapitulate uh, the first part. We know that uh, Vasakov, the student, goes to a ladderer and ladderer talks about his useless education and he tells him that uh, his education was not useful in getting any job so he should go to the school and get his money back. Listening to this, Vesagov goes to the school to get uh, the refund and when he goes there, the principal and the teachers were embarrassed because they never heard a student coming back to school to get the tuition fee back on the ground that his education was useless. So the principal and the teachers uh, uh, call a meeting and uh, they decide to take a test for Vysokov. And in the test of history, physics and geography, Vysokov does very well and uh, he is made to pass in the test. Vysokov did not pass the test but he was made to pass in the test and uh, the last test that remains in that uh, testing was mathematics. So Vesakov understood that the teachers are using uh, the tricks to uh, pass him so he reassures that he would be more careful in the maths test and he wants to fail the test. So uh, listening to this, um, the masters and the principal are worried and uh, uh, the math teacher assures them that uh, he would uh, look into the matter and he would uh, uh, do all that is necessary. So the math teacher uh, asks Vesakov to come and uh, uh, when Vesakov comes in front of him, he calls the math teacher as an old stick in the mud. So um, Vesakov also gives wrong multiplication tables and uh, additions uh, so that uh, uh, the math teacher gets angry with Vesakov but the math teacher was cool and he reminds him not to make a joke of the serious matter because he's taking a test and that's a serious issue so he should not uh, make this issue a silly one. So the math teacher tells Vesakov that he's going to ask two questions and in those two questions the first one is easy and the second one is difficult. So um, the first question seems silly and uh, a difficult one and it was about the speed of light. So when the math teacher asks such a difficult uh, question, the teachers and the principal are naturally worried because uh, um, Vesakov would fail the test and failing means they have to refund the tuition fees to Vesakov. So um, when the math teacher asked the first question, um, Vesakov did not get it correctly, so he wanted the question to be repeated. The math teacher says that he won't repeat the question and uh, Vesakov gives an answer and that answer was a wrong one. So a principal and the staff are worried now because uh, Vesakov is about to fail the test and uh, he, Vesakov himself feels a bit happy because failing means getting back the tuition fees. So uh, the principal and the staff uh, decide to uh, give the tuition fees and uh, uh, the principal is not convinced about this whole affair and uh, uh, for the reputation of the school, for the, uh, for the 
um, good of the school, he agrees to return uh, the tuition fees to Vesakov. And uh, the excited Vesakov, he uh, forgets about the second question. He is very happy. He could not control himself. And uh, the math teacher asks the amount to be refunded. So Vesakov carefully adds and multiplies uh, uh, all the calculations. And then finally he tells that uh, he has to be paid 6,450 crowns, 50 hella. So mathematic teacher also counts it on the paper. And uh, uh, he tells that that was the exact amount to be refund refunded to Vesakov. And Vesakov feels very happy that uh, he would get the refund. So a mathematics teacher congratulates him for getting that amount uh, correctly and tells him coolly that he answered the difficult question correctly. And the difficult question was the amount to be refunded to Vesakov. And uh, Vesakov was a bit confused. He did not understand what the math teacher was saying. So math teacher says that Vesakov's answer to the simple question on light was wrong, but the difficult question was answered correctly by Vesakov, and the principal presents the result of the exam. Vesakov was given a distinction in every subject that he atten attempted, and uh, uh, finally he was given a graduation certificate, and principal felt very proud of, uh, of uh, teaching him so well. He also felt proud of uh, the math teacher because he handled the situation so well, and uh, teachers finally mock at Vesakov with the nicknames. The principal calls Vesakov an object, and uh, um, principal asks the servant to send Vesakov away. Uh, the teachers feel that uh, they have done very well in tricking Vesakov and they feel proud of their achievement. I hope you enjoyed this video lecture. Thank you for listening.